Hey guys, it's uh, Jordi at Carbon Infusion here. I got my new uh, workbench uh, carving bench um, all set up. My dust collecting table. I, I set, made another video how my dust collector table works, okay? I got all my burrs here. I got my Fordham SR series with my cut saw, quarter inch extreme flame burr. I got my Dremel set up here. Flex shaft with my uh, 1 8 cut saw extreme burr. And uh, today we're going to be doing a f like a 5 or 6 or 7 series videos on carving this as a branch, oak wood I believe, cut in half. So when you're done carving it, you can put a wall hanger up here and hang it on the wall. But it's a good video to do it because it's round, right? It's not a flat surface. See how round it is? So let me, I'm going to concentrate on doing step by step as slow as I can possibly do and then not feel rushed to do it in one video. So this is going to be like five or six videos and this will be part one. So let me clean up the outside of this, this uh, bark up first and then we'll draw our wood spirit on and we'll start carving. Uh, love making mistakes, love making mistakes. Okay, there you guys can see I got all the bark uh, cut off. I used the my Fordham Flex Shaft XR series, SR series with the quarter inch cut sole extreme bit. There'll be a link in the comments below, guys, about uh, cut sole. It will take you to the link, and if you use the, the code C Fusion, you'll save five percent. That will be in the descriptions. I sanded it. This is my my go-to sander. It's on a Dremel Flex Shaft. Okay, you can buy this Dremel bit. It's a ninety degree bit. Okay. There's a video how to install it to the flex shaft. Some guy made a video, just type that in. This is a two inch hook and loop sanding pad off of uh, eBay. They come from China. You can get them for like 10 bucks and they come with a bunch of sanding um, discs too. This is Velcro. Watch my other videos guys. It says that I show how this thing works and you can make your own Velcro pads with a hole saw and punch them out. Velcro is also called hook and loop. This is two inch hook and loop. Take that in on eBay and you'll find it. So that's what I sanded this with first. Okay, so let me put my uh, holder. My new table's not so clean anymore. This is the first carving I've done on my table. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw my face on. I use the same formula every time, guys, okay? I suggest if you're really new, use a pencil, not a pen. I'm doing a pen so you guys can really see my lines really good and clear. This, I don't think this is oak wood by the way, I think it's like popular or something. I don't know, but whatever. I left the bark in up here to kind of give it a cool effect, you know what I mean? I'll try and leave it. I left the bark and the stuff down here too if it stays on, just to give it a cool effect, right? So it's like the face is coming out of the wood. This, this stuff really shows wood. Okay, so I gotta remember to go slow for these videos here. So always start off with this, and guys, this is just my opinion. There's tons of carving faces videos or whatever you wanna carve. This is just my opinion, everything on the wood spirits. So watch other videos of carvings too, guys. So always start off with your center line. Okay, so there's my center line. I think the forehead's gonna be cut, this is gonna be cut deep in here. So I think the nose placement, you gotta give that much for a forehead or whatever. The, the nose placement is the most important part in my opinion. I'm not gonna keep saying my opinion, but I mean to say in my opinion. So here's one side of the nose. And another side of the nose. Try and make, see this side's bigger than this side? Try and make, the, say, the, the nose, the length right here, the same sizes. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make this one a bit shorter. And scribble out that. That's why I said if you have to use a pencil, you can erase your lines, okay? And we'll just put our eyes straight across for now. Okay? And our forehead will be up in here. So the mustache, we're just going to give this guy two mustache. If you don't get these lines the same and the same pitch pitch meaning boom so you can put your nostrils in there 
Okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. If you don't make them the same size and the same pitch, the two sides of your mustache, one's going to look bigger and one's going to look smaller and it kind of makes your piece look funny. So let's do one side of the mustache. Just give this guy, put some S lines, guys. S lines are real important. Like, see how it's, be nice and fluent with your lines. And give this guy this here too. So make the tips kind of try and end up the same too. So put mark down there. Okay, so there we go. There's a simple formula to start off your wood spirit, okay? See how this one's gone down farther than this one? So we'll just bring this one down a bit more. That looks pretty good. Don't worry about carving your mouth in yet. Because you got to carve all this deep down in there. So this is going to be the first video basic wood spirit carving, okay? This is as basic as you can get. So what I'm going to do with my Dremel... I'm going to carve straight, I'm going to carve straight down on all these lines, straight up and down and cut out my template, okay, straight up and down, don't worry about that lip, that will be carved out, on the outsides of my lines, anything that's staying, cut on the outside of your lines, okay, even this is still, needs to come down a little bit more, so that's what I'm going to do now, okay. Okay, so here I am using the uh, Dremel flex shaft. I run a Dremel 4300. Don't feel you have to. That's a cuts all flame extreme uh, 1 8 extreme carving burr. So this video is going to be a little while. It's just me cutting my lines straight up and down, guys. Don't cut sideways because you can undercut to your nose. So just taking my time cutting straight up and down. Taking my time. See how my dust collector table works? It sucks up uh, all the fine dust. It works pretty mint. I just uploaded a video how I made my dust collector table. So straight up and down. I'll just let you guys watch. Stop talking, Jordy. Okay guys, there you can see I got all my lines cut straight in, straight up and down. Okay, so it's like they're cut that deep. So the most important part on the next part of this video, I'm going to be cutting all this away. Okay, these cut lines, I'm going to be keeping this, this up here. 
I'm going to be cutting all this away. I say in my other videos, feathering it away. Feather all this away. Cut it away. So it's nice and flat. It sits nice and flat from this cut down here. Feather it all away. Cut it so there's not a bump in there. You'll see? That's like a bump, right? Cut all that away. Make this mustache stick out higher. We'll worry about doing our depth cuts next video, okay? So and we're gonna this is a big part too, guys. See this cut in here? The mustache, that's the nose. There's the mustache. We're gonna cut all this away. Feather it away from the nose, guys. Feather it away like a slow hill. You know what I mean? Because then you can cut deeper in here. Can you guys see what's going on with those two lights? Maybe this is a bit better. So I'm going to feather all this away. So guys, you can see there me feathering all the cut marks away from the mustache, making the mustache raised above all the wood. See, here I go, just slowly feathering it away. Take your time, guys. Take your time. That's the, until you get the hang of the tool. Hear me, I'm starting to rush again, but I'm going to realize that I'm making the video and I'll start slowing it down again. But I'm just feathering it all away, getting rid of all the wood. I know you guys are getting tired of me saying feather it all away. But that's how you do it. Slowly take it away so you don't see the cut mark. Lots of people like putting their uh, pieces on vices so they can get uh, they can have two hands on their Dremel tool or whatever tool they want. But I like to have my piece freehand so I can move it upside down to get to different points that would be harder to carve with it straight on so I can move it around. That's why I don't have it in a vise. This is a real huge part. This is for Damon out in uh, California. Feather away the bottom of the nose. Make the mustache run like a slow hill away from the bottom of the nose. See how I'm doing this? Just taking it all away slowly, a slow hill. See?
Okay guys, there is 100% your perfect wood spirit face carving. Ah oh, man, this light, uh, let me see here. This wood's so white, so it's hard to kind of see, I think. But there you have your perfect template for a wood spirit. Everything's raised above. The mustache is higher. The nose is higher. The eyebrows are higher. On all the way around, I feathered everything out. I feathered everything out. I got to cut this way deeper though, because I want the nose to stick way farther out. So I'm going to have to cut in there deeper and then feather this out too. But that's going to be the next video, okay? It's going to be a step by step. But there you have your perfect wood spirit outline. This wood's so friggin' white. I hope you guys are able to see. So that's that's the first part of this video. The next video, we're going to uh, cut deeper in each side of the nose. We're going to cut deeper in here and make this nose pop out more. And we're going to have to cut all this down, the mustache, feather it out again. We're going to have to recut. We're going to have to recut the mustache line higher towards the nose again because the farther deeper that you cut this the farther this bottom part of the mustache comes away from the nose you'll notice the deeper you take carve down that down in there the farthest this comes away from the nose it will be it seem like it's down there so you always have to keep an eye on that